Hello and welcome to my C++ tutorial on how to make games. Uh, this is just a simple game. You go to a new project, click on Windows application, just save it as Game02. Um, make sure C++ project is selected, click OK. Save, um, go to project, project options, parameters, add from uh, the lib, and it uh, should be named libalib.a. Click it, open, uh, click OK. It's going to be a default screen in there. I just delete that. And uh, let's get started. So, first things first, include the Allegro.h. And once you have done that, you want to um, put uh, some integers. This is just a simple game, so we're just going to put integer x and integer y are both equal to 10. And you go to your int main function. And uh, once you're in the int main function, you want to include the Allegro. Uh, in it, and then after that, you want to um, you want to uh, install the keyboard, and uh, after you install the keyboard, you want to set the GFX mode, uh, GFX auto detect windowed, and uh, so that's that. Um, spelled it right, I hope. If I didn't, it's just going to uh, correct me once I compile. Um, 640, 480, 0, 0. Okay, and um, then we're going to do a while. This just is going to allow to put the escape button to quit the game. So we do that, key, ESC, and then uh, you close that. Okay, and then we're going to clear. Um, the key buff. Um, after that, what we're going to do is acquire the screen. So, acquire screen. It's another command. And then after that, we're actually getting farther in the game. So, we're going to put a text out. EX. And uh, here it is. Uh, screen. Font. Again, if you don't know what this is, just wait till the end and uh, you have an idea on what this is. X and Y from right there, the two uh, integers. Um, make color. Um, we're just going to do that. Um, Alright, and then after that, we're going to do an if else statement. So if the user happens to select the up key. In that case, um, the result of the user pressing the arrow key that's upwards is going to be a minus on the y variable. Else if the user happens to press the down key, let's say for instance, key down, in that case I want the results of that to, um, to actually uh, to be a plus on the y. and uh, just gonna copy that because we have left and right left to go. I don't feel like writing all that. We want this tutorial to be short, so put this right and uh, change this variable to x, and then um, come down here, left, and um, it's gonna be a minus on the uh, x. And after you've done that, you uh, want to copy this text. And again, this is just a simple game, so. What you want to do is just do as I'm doing and then uh, after that study it and see why I did what I did. Let's just name it um This is going to be my character in the game by the way. And you'll see how it's going to end up. I'm just going to change this number to 225 and um, enter. And then we're done pretty much so now we just have to uh, do some uh, basic commands to end it. Release the screen, rest 50 um, close this from this is the while loop right there so we want to close that semicolon for that return zero again we return from the main function and uh, you want to close that and then end of main to end your program and here we go we're going to compile it if I made a mistake it's going to tell me save it as gamel2.cpp and uh, it's all good here we go if I go left it's going left if I choose to go right it's going right if I go down, it's taking me down. 
and again I don't know I don't know why it's making that line but whenever I go down it makes some sort of line but oh well it's probably just like a mistake I made in there but it's still a good start uh, thanks for watching